Hi everyone, this is Madeline with the Marin Child Care Council and Heal. And I love the fall time, and that's because we have these beautiful winter squashes that are seasonal and edible. And there's so many varieties. And sometimes people don't know there's so many different types of winter squashes and don't know much about how to cook them. So, <clears throat> This is not a pumpkin. This is a red kabocha. We have our delicata and we have our spaghetti squash. And again, there's so many other varieties, so I recommend you trying them all. And you can always go really simple with winter squash, and that is bake them in the oven, pull out their seeds. They have a soft, sweet flesh that you can add olive oil, butter or sea salt. It's a great first food for, for young infants because they love that sweet, soft puree. And I'm gonna show you how to cook up a delicata. Really simple and really easy. So first things first, I'm gonna be cutting off the top and bottom. And I'm gonna cut it in half a little bit hard so this is definitely the adult part and then half again so you are exposing the inside now if you have a child with you you can have them use their hands or you can have them use a spoon and scoop out the seeds in the delicata squash now these are fun for um, manipulatives counting sensory can have them count them, smell them. Um, you are able to toast them just like pepitos and eat them, but this is a fun part that the children can get involved in. So I'm gonna go ahead and get out the seeds and show you what's next. So here I have some delicata, but pumpkins are a part of the winter squash family. And so this song is about pumpkin seeds. Now you could change that to delicata, but I'm gonna teach you the pumpkin seed song. So it goes like this. Here I have a pumpkin seed, pumpkin seed, pumpkin seed. Here I have a pumpkin seed, now I plant it. Water it and watch it grow, watch it grow, watch it grow. Water it and watch it grow in the garden. So I have taken out the seeds and now I'm going to slice them where they're half an inch thick into these little smiles or crescent moons. And I'm just gonna line them on a baking sheet, or in this case, I'm using my frying pan. You can have parchment paper, and you're gonna put them in the oven at 350 with a little bit of olive oil and sea salt until they are soft. They can even get a little bit of crisp on their side. And you can flip them over and enjoy them on their own add them to salads or have them as a side. So this is a really simple recipe. It has a beautiful little song to go with it. Children can help get involved with helping you get out the seeds. And winter squash are full of beta carotenes and vitamin A. So they are wonderful in the winter time to enjoy. And I hope you go out, find some sort of winter squash and remember, you can do this recipe with any of the winter squashes you happen to find at your market. Or So adding some olive oil and sea salt, it's ready for the oven and will be in the oven for about 15 minutes until golden. So here is the finished item. It's really not even almost a recipe because it's so simple. And I think that's what's so wonderful about some of these recipes is it's all about whole foods and how we can get our family and our childcare centers to be cooking simple, wholesome meals. So this is, again, a really delicious and simple recipe. 
you could chop up this kabocha and cook it the same way. And I hope that this fall you'll experience and try a new winter squash. I love winter squashes and getting the kids to check them out, all the different colors, shapes, sizes that they come in. And so I hope you enjoy this recipe and try it at your house or childcare center soon.